Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Vinyl V channel, and today we are doing Brigitte Bardot, my favorite. Greetings, YouTube friends, and welcome to my channel, the Vindy La Vie channel. I am the creative director and um, developer of the, the line Vindy La Vie. I'm also an editorial stylist of 26 plus years. Um, for those who may not be familiar with what an editorial stylist is, we, unlike stylists who are in the salon, we do primarily magazine work. Um, you know, stuff that you see in Vogue, Bazaar, um, you know, W, what you, what may you, as well as we have so, um, personal clients, uh, celebrity clients that we travel and do what they do. So if they do a cover of a magazine, we're doing it. You know, they're doing an ad. We usually we're doing it. Anything they do, if they're doing a movie, sometimes we're doing it too as well. Um, but you know, um, movie, movie hairstyles are, are, are different from us. Anyways. There's a quick little history there. Uh, so today I'm doing one, if not my absolute favorite um, icon look, because she's just, she's to me everything. Uh, Brigitte Bardot. Um, I can remember as a child, um, and let's not talk how long that's been, let's just say the Flintstones years. Um, let's call my, my childhood the Flintstones years. Um, you know, seeing images of her and seeing her four movies, um, and just be so hypnotized by her, her just radiant beauty, uh, and just raw energy and the kind of energy, raw, kind of sexuality that's not produced and that is not, you know, Instagram filled like we have today. Um, just natural and, and beautiful and just, ah, anyways. Okay. So with Bordeaux, um, there are two things you need to know. One, texture. Two, placement. Um, there, there, there's a 60s Bordeaux, which is more of the up, you know, uh, half updo, beehive, whatever you want to call it, and then part down, and then the, and, uh, some waves to it. And then there is a 70s Bordeaux that is actually fuller and more California looking, where it's, um, you know, very, where it's straighter, but it has a lot of volume, and there, and it's not, it is a dryness to it. You know, before we had drying products or texturing sprays, she was doing it already because she was always on in the on the beach. I would presume because I think Bardot, her her life existed around the beach when she was younger. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do more of the '60s um, Bardot today, and two versions of it: a daytime version, which is um, something you can just kind of do by yourself. Uh, well, both you have to learn to do by yourself, but one you can wear in the daytime, and then the other one you you it's, there's more drama. But for you um, hair mavens who want drama both in the daytime too, well, you can do the second one. All right, so um, let's get started, and I'll talk a lot. I'll talk. Uh, this video will be actually maybe a two or three part, um, and I'll. I'll edit it on YouTube where it extends, um, only because there's a lot to talk about in here because I'm gonna be using extensions to, as well. I don't know how much I'll show you how to use extensions because that may be a little bit too much brain overload to um, try to do the Bordeaux look uh, and also you know, show you to do extensions. Um, and also one important key is I, I've been battling with how to execute Brigitte Bordeaux look because there is a very simplistic way she does her hair when she pulls up that that takes the person itself doing it to achieve it. And she was really great at this because it looked done, but it looked completely undone. Um, so it, it didn't look like a, um, you know, an up to per se. If you looked at her image, it was just really just, just natural. Like she woke up and I went Poof. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start doing the hair and I may or may not use the extensions, but I will show you how to blow dry the extensions and what, how, how I'm going to use it. I'm going to use extensions to actually show you how to do the wave and, and not so much on my model friend, be Rihanna box, which, uh, she, we, she may, you may see Gina with a G too. Um, two of our really great friends here at, uh, Casa Blaine. Um, okay. So let's get started with what you need. So here is my display of my arsenal for Brigitte Bardot. So we need hair for this, for sure. Um, 
so I have one, two, three, four, five, five different types of uh, extensions, but also as well as different shades of color. This is um, a fall, so and it's just washed. I'm going to blow dry it. See, I just want to show you the integrity that I do actually do work. <laughs> um, and this is uh, this is a uh, back clip for the black area. It's like one whole piece. It's the multicolored blondes, and then these are singles. So, and there are three different colors, okay? So, a note about doing extensions. Um, please cut them and blend them onto their subject's head, whether it's your client that, you have, that wants to get custom um, extensions. Um, so that, that's what me, custom means. You cut it on the hair, you place it on and you cut it so, it, it, so it's flawless on the head. And also, please do not be that person that just piles so much hair on yourself or on your client that it just looks fake. Um, you know, I'm a hair addict for sure, but our our motto, my motto is natural or just, or luxury, beautiful, and not look not, not looking terribly synthetic. Um, but do as you will, you know, it's your world. Um, so I washed and conditioned with um, Vindel V or Noor mask. So soft. Um, this is a new product that I'm testing that I've um, that has no label on it and it's not the right bottle, but it's gonna be part of the Vindela V line. It's an aerator, which differs from a volumizer. Um, it, it, it gives it immense volume, but in a different way. It, every strand is separated um, and it looks, it looks like you've been in the wind all day long, that kind of fluffiness, um, completely soft. But I'm still testing it. Hopefully I'll launch it soon um, this year. Then my, um, setting spray my thermal protectant setting spray and here is you know kms um sea salt for volume uh also there is the dry hairspray dry spray i don't know if you guys ever use that oh, love it it's a great pomade um that you spray in the head and it smells really great uh, it's light enough but it's strong enough. It's actually really strong, but it goes on the coating is really light. So, you know, you're not like, it's not on your hand and you're, you know, you know, dab, you know, squishing into your hair. This actually is more direct, so it's great. Um, this is um, hair powder. Um, it's for grip. It's from Redken. And it's for volume. We'll definitely need that in the crown area for, for Ms. Bardot. Um, then um, the Hydro Serum, which, um, ah! Oh my God, <laughs> I, I dropped my serum. Um, <laughs> I am not going to take a do retake. Oh God. <laughs> okay. uh, too much coffee. Um, I'm not going to do a retake because I'm all about realness. Um, this is what I use for, um, for uh, placing the curl. Um, I will actually put this into the hair while it's wet, while I blow dry as well, and then put a finish on it after, before I set with irons. Um, and this will actually define the curls, which you've seen it at work before. Um, then we have the before hairspray hairspray, um, as when we're working with the wave or, or just, you know, defining it uh, before we actually set it with hairspray. Okay, so, and my combs. I'm not going, this is a comb, this is a comb from a company called, a brush, sorry. Yeah, you think by now I know what a comb and brush is, but um, I'm a little dyslexic or crazy. Uh, it's from this company called Alpha New York. For you guys who don't, can't afford, or I'm sorry, don't mean can't afford, but find a Mason Pearson a little bit too expensive, um, and you have other priorities, then um, these are great. So then, but these are, then, then this is a, a little Mason Pearson that I'm gonna need because um, it's going to be more direct control. And then my roller brush is actually a really small one, this one, okay? It's, um, you know, like that size. <laughs> Clips for my rollers and my white, my curls. And then two irons. This is the main one. This is an inch and a half. And then this is a one inch that I may use to um, detail when we're done. Okay, so... Um, Let's get started with the blow dry and the waving of the hair fall. Okay, see you in a second. Hi, we're back. Now this is not Tammy, this is her sister, um, Samantha. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is the hair fall that I pinned on with needles, with my teeny needles. Um, okay, 
So then what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna use my aerator on it. So I, what I do is I freehand it, um, you know, when I put on product. And with the aerator, you really want to put it through the whole hair shaft um, and not just the root area. And for Bardot, you want like the whole hair shaft to have volume. Um, two, three sprays is enough. Um, you know, you don't want to overload her. She just might be too much of a bombshell. Um, and you know, that explosion might be really, really large. Um, all right, so with the, the aerator, you're just gonna leave it for a while. That's the difference with this particular product is you don't want to start right away. It needs a little bit of a second to um, get all saturated in. All right, so I think she's good. All right, so I always start my glow dry from the bottom. From the bottom up. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a blow dry. Again, I blow dry straight out from where the hair grows. Oh, there goes my pin. That's okay. She's still holding on to your life. And my blow my blow dry nozzle goes straight down. And again, you want to blow dry your hair like a fine piece of silk. Okay? Slow methodical rhythmic motion. There's no need to go Speedy Gonzales on her hair and, you know, by going crazy. I mean, you can, it'd be a great workout for your arms, but, you know, I kind of have to save my arms, you know, especially when there's so many clients that they used to do or we are on set and there's multiple models or, you know, different hairstyles. Anyway, your arms and your body will appreciate it later as you get old, like me. You know, when you become like in your 40s, oh honey, shit don't come back as quickly as it used to or at all, okay? All right, so let me just kind of get through this so you can just kind of see. What the aerator does. You'll see more of it once it's on the head and, and it's placed, but. So it's, it very, it ventilates. I, it's really hard for you guys to really see it, but you see it a little bit, it ventilates. That's what the aerator does. It doesn't expand it to make it wiry. It, it's completely a different process. Um, it actually was developed in a lab, so it wasn't like a, it was not, um, oh, just a thing. My products are not a private label, meaning that they, these, the formulation did not exist before. All my line, my line was developed by moi and my chemist, um, you know, two to three years lab work. So this is our latest manifestation, which I, I adore. All right, enough about that. Let me blow dry the head and then we'll go. But you see it's done. All you need is, all I needed was aerator. You don't need to pile, you know, hair with so many products. You only need the right product. And so I'm using the aerator to, to bypass a, vol a volumizer, okay? But it's the same thing. Of course, you guys don't have an aerator, not yet. So um, just use a volumizer, a spray one. A, be a bedhead of queen for the day is really great, okay? Welcome to part two, or do, as they say in French. Hi, so we're back. I just finished um, blow drying our hair fall. That's gonna go on to Brianna, our Brianna, our hair model. Um, my friend, who's a model. I'm using her hair, so she's hair model. Um, so, but I got amazing volume from my aerator that will be released sometime this year. Anyways, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and um, set, set our hair, and I'll show you how that's done. Right back. Hi, so we're back. Uh, so I tilt the doll head back a little bit so you see the top area. This is the crown area. So just imagine this is her eyes and her face. Okay, so with your rat tail comb, you can do a zigzag sectioning so that when you take the rollers out, you're not, you, you'll reduce like the, any definition that you'll see from it. Okay, so you go like that. And again, um, see there's like kind of zigzaggy. I don't know if you can see that. It's not, it's not even, which is what you want. Um, okay, so then I am going to now, oh, and remember uh, to 
um, six, your section should not, not be bigger than the roller you're using or the iron you're using. Okay, so this is my inch and a half. Sorry, over my shoulder. You want to heat up the root area. So get as close to the scalp as possible without burning the heck out of um, your girl or your boy, whichever. You know, all good. Okay, so I'm keeping the iron where it is, the placement, and I'm spinning it around because again, we are professionals and we're not going to curl the hair from the bottom and roll it up. You know, like a 12 year old girl. Um, nothing wrong with being a 12 year old girl. Um, I was once a 12 year old girl, you know. <laughs> okay, so nice and warm. With this, you're going to now, instead of clipping it in, you're going to use a Velcro roller. So very quickly, go through it. Boop. Stuck, stuck. Pin it in. Okay. What are my clips? Or actually, it's stay by itself. All right. So then we'll do the next sectioning. So all this top area, you're going to go ahead and put the larger curl, uh, curling uh, Velcro rollers. The bottom, right underneath it, again, I'm using my crit section, uh, my zigzag. See how I'm just barely using enough products and not crazy and overloading it? All right, again, um, you put the iron right there, okay? You're heating, this is uh, the proper way to curl hair, because um, you're heating the complete hair shaft together, um, you know, so it's even, okay? So then you're gonna get even curl. You're gonna go to one size smaller, okay? Again, and you wanna do this fairly quickly, okay? Wrapping it around, sticking it in. Velcro rollers usually, if you do it right, will stay, but you have an option, clearly, oops, excuse me, hi, yeah, right, right back, hi, there. Uh, to clamp it and clamp it at the base, okay? Okay, so now just repeat, get up girlfriend, um, repeat that, you know, your larger uh, Velcros here and then everything underneath will be a smaller one, okay? One size smaller only, or you can do all size this or all size this, but, um, I like for Brigitte Bardot, she had multiple dimensional waves. Some were larger, some were smaller. So this is really how you want to do it. All right, I'll be right back and I'll show you the finish of the placement of the set. Hi, so I'm finished setting it. So I just want to show you um, what the placement is. This, we're actually going to replicate this placement exactly on Brianna, our live model. Um, okay, so... So the top is the larger rollers, okay? Okay, I'm gonna stop saying okay. I just caught myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the, then the ones the rest, the rest of them are the smaller rollers, and they're not small by any means. They're, um, I believe, they are one inch, like the the rollers. I mean, the iron, the curling iron. I think these are the standard size, the red ones. So there we go. And when I see you in a second, I mean, right next, next, um, we'll bring have Brianna here. See you later. Welcome to Brigitte Bardot part trois. Hi everyone. So now we are at part three of the Brigitte Bardot hair tutorial by John Blaine, the hair samurai. Um, I am John Blaine 7 on Instagram, please follow. Um, last we left, I set the uh, her, a fall for possibly using it on Brianna, our model, which is coming in momentarily. Brianna, on another note, Brianna is the face of um, the Vines of a V-Line, which is my line. So uh, she was so gracious to come in today and let me turn her hair into my favorite icon. Okay, so a couple couple things to start before I bring her in. Um, so as I mentioned with Brigitte Bardot, there are two things that are uh, important to pay attention to, pay attention to texture and placement. With, with Bardot, um, if you looked at her any of her pictures, there was, whether it was from the 60s or the 70s, um, 
there was a, a very her hair was a lot there was a lot of volume but there was an airiness about it a fluffy feel to it or look to it almost I wouldn't say it was cotton candy because it wasn't that fluffy but it was near and able to create that you must use velcro rollers and you must combine velcro rollers with hot irons which I showed you we curled and we wrapped in rollers right away um, that's how you create that amount of volume but also that particular kind of fluffiness um, and also then we talked about um, placement two things to consider with Bordeaux placement is volume here and framing here um, Brigitte had a way of cutting her hair. It was literally, it was that jawline, believe it or not, but it was all the front area. It was almost if you just went, pulled off, if you just made a, 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 a line on your head, pull all your hair on this line, you cut it into uh, right at the jawline like a bob, both sides. So it hit here, and then there was longer hair back here. Um, that's why she had that really, very chic and unusual kind of, uh, of look uh, with her hair, especially when she said it, it was really kind of, it framed her face just perfectly. Now, um, 2017, one of the big haircuts is the um, grown out shag, which is pretty much ideal for our Bardot set, at least in this time. It's not as long as her hair back, but this area here, with that shag is perfect for for setting as Bardot. So it's really great. Something you guys, if you guys already have it already, you're planning to do it. This could be a great option for you actually to style your hair at night if you just want to move away from it. And I'll show you things in these videos that will give you ideas how to do it. Okay, so um, with that, we are going to go ahead and start with my icon. Ah! Hello. Workout. Hello. This is Brianna. Or Dina. With her box. Who do you want? <laughs> no, let's do let's Brianna first. Okay. Um, we'll reveal Gino with the G later. <laughs> All right, so we're back with the uh, my our Brigitte Bardot hair. So I've set Gina's hair with the rollers as I did with the fall that you saw the other day. My hair's looking good. Um, so now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna start taking it out. I set it with the roll with the Velcro rollers with the iron that I use. Okay, heat up, heat it up first, and then I wrapped it in ro ro uh, rollers right away. Right. Let me undo everything, and then I will come right back and bring show you what it looks like without the rollers. Okay. Hi, so I've taken all the rollers out so the last two on top, which I'll start from here. And you notice my roller in the front is red, which is smaller than the purple behind. There's a reason for that. All right, so then what you want to do, grab my little Mason Pearson. We're going to go ahead and brush it every way. What we're doing is we're adding volume to it, but we're also breaking all roller lines, if there are any, um, on her head. Brush it, out. brush it out this gives you that really big voluptuousness fabulousness of hair that you want vavoom 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 all right so with the bardot um set you're going to want to find your natural part or at least have one that's not quite in the middle it's kind of be on the either slightly off left or right so what you how you find your natural part is you brush your hair back and then you push it up like that See, it just falls by itself. So there's, there's her natural part. So that's what you want to do. This is not going to be a perfect part. You don't want that because that's really not Bardot's hair. So then you're going to now with your fingers, uh, with the with Bridget Bardot, you want to section very unevenly so you use your fingers instead of your combs. Um, you're going to do from side to side, okay? Again, you don't want it to be perfect. We're going to pin this away, but while you're pinning it away, we're going to put it into a pin curl so it kind of keeps its curl. 
We do it on this side. And for, for those of you who may not know, because we haven't really fully released the ads yet, but Brianna's um, the face of Vine Vil my company for 2017. She was, she's so graciously come and help me today. Of course. All right. I need a chance to get my hair done by John. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so now we're gonna back home. I'm going to move the camera around and show you how we back home. Hi, so we're back. And this is the back of her head. <laughs> okay, so when you back home, I use a rat tail. I use a comb instead of a brush. Brushing, uh, back combing with a brush will give you a different effect than actually with a comb. I always like doing it with comb, there's more control for me. And you know I love control. Um, okay, you know, inch sections. The proper way to back home is one, two, three, four. Really easy. Do you see how it's just standing up by itself and you're not going like that and, and just ripping through it? So, so look how it's standing up straight. The, that's, that's the only thing straight about me is my back home. Um, uh, that's what you want, okay? So, Bardot, it's quite big, so I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it there. It's about like three inches, four inches high. Now, use the stronger hairspray, the masterpiece. Spray in the back of it. And you're gonna back home all the way down. And either pull it up or forward. Which is, this is over directed in actual, actual hairdresser terms. <laughs> okay. See how it's standing up by itself? That's what you want. And the ends are still loose and pretty. That's what you want. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> See? It's like a sheet of hair that stands by itself. That's how you back home, okay? Move this around so you can see. That's how it should be. Okay, that's how your back combing should. That's a proper back home. Okay, you don't want to rip through someone's hair. Um, that's a no-no. Because you know, as a hairstylist, you not only want to achieve the look that your client wants, but you want to preserve the integrity of the hair for as long as you can. I mean, if you're going gangbusters and balls to the walls every single time then you're just destroying the hair, and then every time you set the hair or the client goes home, it's gonna get more and more damage. Um, so that's what separates us as professionals from, say, someone who does it at home. Um, that's why we say, you know, come in and get your hair done. It's more than just knowing, we knowing more the technique of how to do it. We also know how to preserve your hair so that you have your hair, you know, for the long run. Again, hair is not a living thing, so it will degenerate. You know, to a point, that's why we say, well, let's cut your hair. So it's not gonna be forever. But while you have it, especially girls with long hair, you know, you really need to condition your hair and you really need to have your hair done by a stylist as much as possible, as much as you can possibly afford. Um, because, you know, the price varies in us because of our experience. It's not something we just made up and said, oh, hell, today I'm gonna charge $500 for a haircut because I feel like it. No, it's for the experience, and you, what you also want to do, you want to know your stylist when you're shopping for one, how experienced you are. Ask them, what did you learn? How long have you been doing it? Ask them all the questions that you would want to. They should be able to like prove it as well as talk about it. You know, because um, it's true. You know, when you're paying, you know, a good amount of money for um, to get your hair done, you want to know that this person who you're going to has had, you know the proper experience and why they, he or he charges that amount. All right, so I'm gonna finish back home in the rest and we'll come back. Hi, we're back. She's in the front, she's in the front, okay. So I back home the hair, you know, so what we're gonna do is, one of the key things about Bridget Bardo is that she had this kind of, I just did it myself, it looked great. So you're gonna to wanna to use your fingers. Now. Mind you, my sectioning is still there. This this part will work last. So now we're doing the you know the, the big big um, rise in the crown. So I'm going to use both my hands to kind of just rake loosely her hair, and then. I'll oh, show you the back in a second. What? Do you think Bridget Bardo did her hair by herself? I think a, yeah, a lot of it she did. Um, you know, this, this was a time before 
you know, I mean, they definitely had hairstyles at really high level at that time. Also, Paris um, was, you know, they had a lot of the masters came from Paris, so she probably had access to that. You can tell when she did her own hair mm -hmm. and when she didn't. Okay. You know, for the most part, her hair was very, when, when she did it, was very easy, kind of like very undone. Yeah. When you see her eye in, you know, some of the shots you see her with a really updos, oh, yeah, that, that was somebody who did it. But in any case, she made it. It's all hers. <laughs> all right, so my hair's pretty. So turn this way. Okay, so you want to do? Do you see all that we have that are going? Okay, so you just you want to kind of spray that first. You're not gonna get. You don't want it perfect yet because we're still just kind of setting everything. Okay. And also. These sets are not meant to be perfect. The one I'm gonna do after will be, but this one is not just meant to be very disheveled, very sexy. Okay, so we get to the top. You wanna finger, you wanna finger everything. Gross, gross. Um, and what you're doing is you're kind of raking with your fingers, okay? You're, you're using your fingers like your comb. Before you spray it, you just kind of want to go through it. At this point, you actually can use your brush. So, what you do, rake it. That will give you a very smooth finish, or a much smoother finish. So, you kind of rake it and let it just drop. See? It is. See, there's an airiness to her hair that you want to maintain. Okay. At least this will be more of the day version, or I think you wear this at night as well too. Um, you know, the next set we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna write into it, but it's gonna be a lot more structured. So let's call this the the unstructured sexiness. Yeah. So then now, with this area, you're gonna, you're gonna want to, you're gonna want to back home at an angle like this going back, okay? And this part is kind of like everything. Um, it has to be done right because she's all about the face framing. Burn. I'm leaving it like that, so I'm just letting it dry on its own. This is the look. We're done. We're done. Bye. See you. Have fun. Give me the five hundred dollars. <laughs> Pay me. <laughs> oh, that was what was, we were so funny. We were talking earlier, Brianna and I. Now, listen, guys. There's a lot of trends that come out, you know, every season, and to me, some of them look completely like shit. Oh, no, not like shit. But if you if you think about this, if you have to go to if you go to your styles and and you say to them, you know, listen, I'm going out. You know, I really want a great look. Do something for me. And then when you get it done and they say, okay, this could be how, if they charge you $300, which is, this is great, but if if you are happy with it, how did I say it? Well, it just looks like something that you could have done yourself. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. It was said much better when, we, when it was organic. Trying to recreate anything. <laughs> sorry. Okay. So then now, with your finger. So you see how it's all kind of forming already? I <laughs> know, because of it. So... You're going to use your fingers with this. First you start in the bottom. You use fingers, it starts connecting the tendrils. So sexy. Already feeling it. Yeah. 
And if you have to move the part a little bit, you guys, go ahead and do it. The thing is, you want you want it to frame her face. Well, remember I was telling you that Bardot had her hair cut like right there? So that's really important that somehow you manage to get um, a weight line there. Now, even if you, I'm gonna curl that so it actually mimics more of a weight line. Let me turn this up even more. She had a lot of tiny, short tendrils around the face. So ideally, if you had a client who had that kind of grown-up shag, it'd be really great for this. Um, you know, but we can, we can mimic it through irons if we need to. Right. Sorry guys, it's really hard for me to get around in front of her. Now you want to brush it out a little bit. This is all about placement, as I told you. You just have to place, you know, each and every single hair or section of hair, depending on the client or the person you're doing. Oh, it's my friend calling me. His dog passed away. What I'm doing is getting it right at the jawline, so then when I pull this out, there might, there'll be a little bit of a wave right there that kind of mimics like hair stopping there. Since her hair is a lot longer than Bardot's was, at least in that area, but that's okay. See that? You, can't, you do that really fast and then it gets, gets really soft and that's what you want. So you finish it, although I sprayed a lot of hairspray, I'm gonna finish it by combing it out. So it gives it an aerated feeling to it. This here, I'm probably gonna keep, you know, um, I'm gonna probably respray it, but what you wanna do is then, after you spray it, you wanna comb it out, just sections of it. So it makes it a little airy and it's not clumpy. It really gives that effect of, I just did it myself kind of a thing, but I know I can't. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try after this now. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> well, actually, you're supposed to be able to. Just watch the videos, you'll be able to. <laughs> Back home a little bit. It's really about just, you know, detailing it because everyone's head's gonna be different. Color of hair also affects it too. You know, it gives it a little bit of a different effect. At least the finished part of it. Okay. 
So this is now, I'm gonna use the, just pin that up a little more. a lighter of the hairspray so I'm reversing it um, the harder the harder hairspray I use to actually set it I mean actually um, put into place and the lighter I'm gonna use to actually set it because it gives it's not gonna be too much of a heavy hole and that's what we want the heavier hair hairspray makes it a little more too clumpy Bombshell. yeah so it's you know it is you want a very undone Look. Oh, did you use your eyes already? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so just stay straight. Stay straight if you can. Okay, so I'm just showing you the back. Um, you get the little nice top piece there. Just the side angle is everything. Give us a nice side eye. There you go. Um, okay. So that's one Bordeaux, and we'll roll we'll, we'll right back with the other one. So Welcome back to the final of the four part tutorial on the one and only Brigitte Bardot. As soon as she turns her music off, I can speak. It's down. <laughs> Chris <laughs> at the moon. Oh, God. Okay, so, um, <laughs> The ambiance, okay? <laughs> All right, so now this is the second Bardot one, and it's so simple going from what from this, which is the daytime one, or the you know the one. Well, we'll just call it Bardot one to Bardot two. All right, so you already have it like this. Okay, so you leave the front alone. I'm gonna grab the back. Place you right there if you can see it. Okay? I'm sorry, I should have thought of this. But I'm doing Bardot today and I'm blonde. <laughs> okay, so, I know. Alright, so, and we love these little strings, okay? Because this Bardot is so sexy because it's undone. You're not trying to make it look like it's perfect, okay? So, then we're gonna pin it up. Use your fingers to kind of rake everything, okay? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's try to. Okay, every time Brianna comes around, I can become very unprofessional. <laughs> Dropping things out of my mouth and shit. Okay. Yeah. It's just a way to me. Yeah. It's a way to All right. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay. So, okay. So this is the front version of where I just turn the camera around so you can see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my brush and my comb now. I'm gonna tame the top a little bit. Tame the bitch. Tame her down. But we're gonna still leave it very, very disheveled because that was why Bardo was so sexy because it wasn't again it was she just was it was so organic how she did everything or how she looked especially with her hair and that's what we're trying to replicate um, of course there's only one Ms. Bardo um, okay so then the front you're going to now take all that sectioning that we had just brush to it you can break it okay that makes it softer the framing selective 
Okay, we're going to keep those two tendrils there. Turn this side. You still want to keep this kind of fuzziness, if you can see it, because that's kind of like the beauty of it. It's kind of like, well, you know, my hair looks pretty sexy because I have this rad sex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dry. Spray some on a hairspray on the brow. Okay. <laughs> Because you know, because it really needs it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where you're framing everything a little bit by spraying some spray on the other side until so it kicks in the wave a little bit more. And even these little tiny hairs is really what you want. Because that was really the beauty of her hair a lot. I keep on saying that because it really was. If you look at her hair under the picture, you would see that like almost like every little bit of hair like framed her face. All right, so I'm gonna back home this front and back a little bit. Then I'm gonna do like I said earlier, I'm gonna try to find that part. So pull back up, I'm gonna push it up a little bit. <laughs> there, it's giving me her part again, okay? That we don't want too much there again. So what we're gonna do is just grab a little bit. See that hair? You're going to, with your finger, pull back a little bit, okay? Before you spray anything, you just want to leave it alone. Because this is just placing it right now. Okay. So then, turn this one. It's, this, this hair is really a lot about the sides, so you really got to work that, okay? Condense it a little bit, so it's not too crazy. So just leave that for now. Then the magic is you're gonna get a scarf. Ooh! Okay, make it really French. French. Okay, turn around. Okay. This, watch what this does. Okay, so do you see how bulbous it is back here? And that's what you want. See how it's all about the side? Woo! You know, when she gets Sexy. her lipstick on and she makes that cat eye even more dramatic. So you're gonna take a scarf um, this is a fabric, a lace fabric I found at the at a fabric store. And so I carry all this kind of stuff with me in my kit because you never know when a photographer or an actress will be like, hey, you got a scarf? Uh, oh, gee, yes, I do. Um, okay, so I use this because it's 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 sheer. So you'll see the texture underneath. Look at that. Ooh, girl. Ooh. So you... Tie it up. Tie it up, girl. Can you help me? Thank you. Yes, we will need the help of our hair model. Our model, who I'm doing hair for. Let's be clear, she's not a hair model. <laughs> you see, again, it's all about organic with Brigitte Bardot. Um, you don't want to set hair or do anything so so perfect because it just doesn't look right. So then now you just pull these things out. You're gonna lay the hair over top of the of the uh, lace as well with my hairspray. Multi-layering, that's what we call it. Oh, that's what I call it. All right, so you grab this veneer that's kind of like spider webby. Look at that. How gorgeous and effortless is that? I mean, this is straight out of a fashion magazine, y'all, because I do them, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna start the other side. Oh my God. Brianna, stand up. Let's get you standing up because I can't see anymore. Come over here. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's crouch out a little bit. There you go. So we're gonna pull strands out there. 
And you gotta look at your model's face. So make sure that, because you don't, you know, replicating a look is great, but you, you have to consider the face always because sometimes certain, you know, a, a particular look on, say, Brigitte Bardot will not look very well, or placement of a hair will look as good as um, on a person as it did on her because hello, she's different. All right, so I'm gonna leave it as that. And so what you're gonna do, let's tidy that up a little bit. I, I would do my fingers always with this thing, with this style, and use combs and brushes as needed. But really, this is about your fingers. So you lift up the hair a little bit, close your eyes, spray it. That will give it a little bit of a bounce. Okay, see how super gorgeous, like just little fuzzies in the back are? Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. I mean, head up, normal? No, normal, no, no, it's straight. There, do you see how amazing that looks? I mean, it, it's so effortlessly fabulous. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna spray her down. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, my tutorials are not meant to be professional. <laughs> okay, close right. All right. All right. Ooh, beautiful. So, let's get a good look. Look, see how French she looks. <laughs> she looks all Frenchy. No, looks. Isn't that great? It's beautiful. I mean, it's 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 done up. Oh, there's my kitchen. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's all, all raw here, honey, I told you. Okay, so, um, she looks, hold on, let me take. Okay. Like, where, where do you want me? Um, yeah, it looks like it's done, so she can actually go to a really fabulous party like this, or she actually can just walk around the streets. Um, <laughs> not as a hooker, though. Um, okay, there we are. So, come back with a full reveal. Hi, so we're back, and I'm living Bordeaux myself. So, side angle, side. Well, there's, it's a little different on both sides. I chose this way for her because it just fits her much better. But you can see the final reveal, it's effortless, it's beautiful, it's structured, but it's, it's not, you know, effortless and structured at the same time. And well, <laughs> Tammy's back. Ah! <laughs>